What's up, men? We'll do the one take and one take only. Uh, I've got my prompts right here. Just finished up my hour in nature, warming up in the car, and I'm gonna go heat up now and then go for a run. This week's been, um, it'll be a five, one, four. So five daily practices of meditation, one hour in nature, and then I'm about to go do number four as far as the workouts. Um, I want to recognize two people from this week that really helped me out. Um, Carter, we did a resentment clearing, which was really, really helpful and really, really powerful. So I want to say thank you to him for his space, love, compassion, and kindness. It, uh, it really, really helped and meant a lot to me. So thank you. And then my partner, accountability partner, Janar, we were able to connect and hold some space for each other this week, uh, which had a lot in relation to the things that we discussed on the call this past Saturday. So super beneficial. So thank you to him as well for holding space for me there. Um, to get into the prompts, um, what came through through uh, the whole tropic breath? Um, I had a lot of stuff about my breakup that happened uh, that was coming through, which was a lot of me feeling the need to be like held, taken care of emotionally, and have emo this emotional security in another person. And I was really angry for being left uh, and almost felt abandoned. And I, I took a moment, wasn't like super, it was visual. Uh, it was like that person walking away from me and closing a door. And I, I really lent into that was like, okay, this is, this is a trauma from my childhood. This is like a deeper, this is a deeper wound. And how, how can I heal this? And I've been thinking about this for quite a while prior to this prior to the workshop and the practice that we did on Saturday. So I'm not gonna say it's coming out of nowhere, but it this practice really helped bring that forward for me. And it came to be, I have this tug in my heart, multiple tugs, but this one definitely comes out the loudest where healing my inner child and helping other people heal, heal their inner childs or other children have tools to heal themselves and to navigate life. I have a five-year-old niece who's like the light of my life. And I really try and give her tools that I have now at 32 and she's five. So I try and give her the same tools that I have at her age and it's incredible. And the more I do that, I actually did that last night with her. And it, it not only is it healing for me, but it's healing for her and it's going to set her up for success in life. So that's the thing that's tugging at my heart the loudest is to be able to help children and a, maybe even young adults. I'm not fully clear on it, but it feels like either a license of family like an LCSW, I think that's what it is, licensed fam family marriage therapist, or some type of somatic therapy work in which I can be in service. Um, and then the other part of that is my love and passion for music and how music is really therapeutic for me. So it's, you know, still beginning stages, but getting some clarity on maybe how I can combine those two in, in an act of service. Um, fueling my passions for electronic music and music in general and DJing and combining it into some type of musical therapy. Um, so I, I, I probably, I foresee some type of additional schooling in my, in my future or certifications happening there. Um, so that's, that's what came through for me. Not like a ton of visuals, um, but a lot of like insight and feelings. The, um, 
my daily practice is I've been meditating and I've been doing in the Aponopono uh, mantra, which is I'm sorry, please forgive me, thank you, I love you. And it's an act of self-compassion for other people that have hurt me, resentment, but more so for myself because I tend to blame myself and catastrophize things that I've done. And it's more so a mantra for myself. And afterwards, I feel already at five minutes. I feel and that's OK. I'm allowed to be at five minutes. This is my time. Um, to share and be seen. So there's no need to hunt, hurry up. Self-regulation in real time. Um, it's My practice has left me feeling calmer, not as anxious, not as worried, not as self-blaming, not as self-deprecating, nowhere near as much self-catastrophizing. And it's actually not just removing some of the negatives, it's put me more in a place of clarity I feel like I can see things clearer rather than from a scope of everything's my fault um which has been super helpful and healing for me on my journey especially with the breakup um and overall in general I'm getting a little bit more clarity in my life where I am where I don't want to be what I don't like and where I want to go um the third prompt how do I feel in my body after my practices um like I said, less anxious, but mainly after the workouts, more dopamine or serotonin. I, I've been trying to lift a little heavier for myself. And as soon as that happens, I immediately feel like the mood shift. So there's something to be said for putting a bar and squatting on your back or deadlifting or just moving some weight around uh, to really jump up that serotonin because it's definitely something I'm low on. And then after like a run or a swim, uh, it's definitely like clarity. I feel like my breath is regulated similar to doing like a, a meditative breathing or, or a holotropic breath. I feel like my, just my breathing and my regulation is, is, uh, is overall better. Um, and then how is life moving through me and what, how does it want to create? And I touched on this in the beginning. It really wants to move through me in a way that I'm in service, but and I know that's pretty broad, but in service to my inner child and how I'm not just healing myself. It's mutually beneficial, right? The idea is how can I mutually heal myself but helping others or help others and mutually healing myself, vice versa. And it seems to be this creative aspect of some type of therapy work or somatic therapy work or whether it's counseling that I need to go back to school for. But music is also really tugging on this part, these, these strings as well. So whether it's music therapy, and I don't think it's a music therapy teacher, it's more so this idea of like having a group similar to a holotropic breath work, but having a group and curating a playlist for that or curating a set work for that, not necessarily with medicine involved, but more so like introspection um, or like. I hate to call it a party, but like a gathering and celebration of these things and celebration of introspection. Um, so that part's tugging at me as well. And that's like, I feel this, this creative need on both ends of like the counseling and the, the tools oriented and then the celebration of that or the introspection of that through musical therapy. So it's, that's, that's the, um, that's, that's how it feel. It wants to move through me. And then, um, one person I want to tag is Carter. They embody a quality that I really would like to step into for myself. And it's this during our resentment clearing practice that we did this week. It was this calmness and thoughtfulness and space. He legit, literally paused and took his time to think about what he was going to say and process it and and process my emotions and what I was feeling and what I was saying and didn't just go through the motions and read the prompt like it was actually there with me and that's something I aspire to take more of a step into and just calmness overall um in his demeanor is, is something I really I really aspire to have to to obtain not to obtain to to grow into and it's under 10.
Thank you. Hope you all have a great week.